So it's graduation season. Rich's daughter graduated last night. And I saw this thing on our iHeartRadio app, which is really, really cool. When you open up the app, it'll just say it has a big graduation thing, or you can search graduation, and you put in your year, and it has a montage. Actually, it has every song, I think, from the year you graduated. So we took a little bit of clips from all of our years to see. Like, uh, this, these were the number one songs when I graduated high school. But I see your true Cindy Lauper. I see your true colors. That's why I love you. Yeah. Very relevant right now. Yeah. Ooh. Is this karate kid? Yes, it is. Hey, Pet Shop Boys. Got some, got some slappers in there. Always the sun. Wow, okay. Some, some strong ones. These are the songs that were number one. Kyle graduated high school. This is the story of a girl who cried a river and drowned the whole world. I want to dance with my baby. Oh. Hey, oh. Ooh. Yeah. Full of and they That's good. That's a good Kyle. year. Holy it's like a thing. wine. That was a good year. <laughs> okay, this is the number one songs when Rich was in high school. Graduate high school. Starship? Yeah. Okay. Don't shoot. It's perfect. Ooh. Relevant. <laughs> Patrick Swayze, Roadhouse. Dirty Dancing. Dirty Dancing, but he was also Roadhouse. Relevant. Still today. George Michael, legend. Greatest song of all time. <laughs> Belinda Carl, fail. You're going to fail, Alan. <laughs> okay, White Snake. This is Rich and Stacy. You ever seen the video? <laughs> Stacy on the, on the head, dashboard of his the car. car. Uh, and, uh, don't you forget about me, I think was our uh, our prom theme, too. It was? So that makes sense, because that song was popping back then. Okay, <laughs> now these are the number one songs when Peyton graduated high school. All the times that you ran away. Last year. Beeps. 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 <laughs> Baby, this is what you came for. We don't talk yeah, more about I know. <laughs> we don't talk what do you mean? <laughs> you used to call me on my own. It's just a one minute. I know. I was afraid to get to. That was a good year, too. Yeah, good my year, my year is when uh, Drake and Future dropped that album, their joint album. So it was popping in 2016. And very Charlie Poofy. <laughs> and Charlie Poof is back. That's true. Right. Yeah, Thanks man. to Taylor Swift. Relevant. <laughs> we have something relevant in each one of the clips. Several things that are relevant. Speaking of relevant, let's talk TV real quick, really. Um, I get excited when I pick a TV show to watch, and then my son gets into it, and then his friends call him to tell him about it. And he's like, yeah, I watched it with my dad. And his teammates called him to talk about TV. They were talking about Dark Matter on Apple TV. Number one on Apple right now. It's so good. It's four episodes in right now. It's really good. Um, I'm almost done with Outer Range Season 2 on Amazon, where Rich Rich finished. Kyle, you finished Bridgerton, which is probably number one on Netflix. Yeah, yeah it yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. Um, what else are you watching? I started watching this show. Well, I finished it, actually, this morning. It's called Tires. Yeah, I'm on episode two. It's on like Tyler. Shane Gillis, and they are in a tire shop. <laughs> and don't watch it unless you're ready for entirely inappropriate humor. <laughs> but, yeah. So far, it's it's interesting. I don't know if I was really into it, but I watched the whole thing, so I guess maybe I did get into it. At Is some there point. anything that was laugh out? Because I'm on episode two. I'm almost done with episode two, and I thought it's like The Office kind of, but I feel like they're trying too hard to push the envelope. Ooh, envelope, not envelope. <laughs> yes, envelope. the envelope gets pushed yeah. quite a bit. Does it make sense? Um, yeah, yeah I, I think so. It. I believe that the last couple episodes were a little funnier than the first ones. But yeah, I mean it's oh, it's okay. okay. It's a decent watch, I guess. Yes, Grant. I there every show had many laugh out loud moments. There's a lot of inside jokes. I feel like, 
But I also feel like it is Nick and I to a T. This show is like classic, classic Nick and Brad. Classic. It's how we act at work. It is perfect. Like A plus. Couldn't recommend it more. It's you guys aren't exactly like that. No, they're envelope <laughs> pushers. I'm sorry, envelope pushers. <laughs> <laughs> All right, very good to know. I wonder if that where that place is on Netflix. Are you watching anything, Peyton? I just started Iron Claw because it hit HBO Max, the oh, one yeah. that was out in theaters yeah. about the Von Erich family. It's really good, just because like Zac Efron's like a really good actor, so he does a great job. But I'm halfway yeah. through. My son Jake saw it when he went to the theater. He saw it in the theater when he came home. He's like, "Dad, you gotta watch this. You gotta watch this movie." And then when I Google it, it has this, like horrible, horrible oh, side. Really? It's really, it's like really sad. <laughs> it's like sad. four brothers. But I don't want to see that. Acting is like really good. I actually yeah. think you would really like it. I feel like if you like like the Creed movies, it's kind of that same type of temperature, yeah. right? Oh, I also yeah. started watching Jennifer Lopez's new movie, Atlas. It's on Netflix what? now. What? What just movie? dropped on What's Netflix. What's that about? So, so far what I gather is that, like, it's it's L.A. in the future, and there are, like, humanoid robots that have now, that were basically, like, originally supposed to help you. They, they clean your house or whatever, and now they've become terrorists, and they're oh taking God. over. And Jennifer Lopez's character grew up with the main terrorist robot, and she has to take him down. Wow. Okay. God, it's so scary because I feel like that's, who, like, that's where we're going. It's next it's year. It's really scary. It's like a, oh my God. a take on AI going wrong. Right.